India has registered a protest with China over a road construction in Shaxkam Valley, which is a part of POK. India will sign the 31 MQ-9B deal with the US as soon as the new government is formed in June 2024. National Aerospace Laboratories has conducted the first flight of its high-altitude platform station. Cochin Shipyard Limited has started midlife upgrade of a Brahmaputra-class frigate. The ATAGS deployed by Armenia features ballistic computers with interfaces in the local Armenian language, that will simplify operation for Armenian artillery crews and reduce training time. India has fast-tracked its extra-large unmanned underwater vehicle program, and the first prototype will be ready by 2025. The Indian Air Force is taking its pilot training to the next level by using air-to-air -air missile engagements against electronic targets. A Chinese H-6K bomber has started testing a new air-launched ballistic missile, which bears resemblance to the Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile. After signing a multi-million dollar deal with Turkey to purchase Bayraktar drones to patrol the high seas, Maldives is now hosting a Turkish warship. The Ministry of External Affairs has said, that India is watchful of the presence of a Chinese vessel in Maldives, and is taking appropriate measures to safeguard its national and economic security. Indian Army's cargo corps have started an integrated exercise with simulated combat scenarios including air support and air defense joint missions in a networked environment in synergy with Indian Air Force and Army Aviation. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace met with the Secretary General of Indonesia's Ministry of Defense on the sidelines of 7th Joint Defense Cooperation Committee meeting. The two sides have already concluded price negotiations on the procurement of Brahmos missile, and once the contract is signed in the next few months, Indonesia will become the second country in Southeast Asia to acquire the Brahmos missile. The DRDO had received approval for the K5 and K6 SLBM programs in 2015 and 2017 respectively, and latest reports indicate that underwater testing on limited ranges has already taken place. The MERF-capable K5 and K6 missiles will be deployed on the S4 and S4 Star SSPNs, but the upcoming 13,000-ton S5-class SSBN is expected to serve as the launch platform for the K8 SLBM, that will have a projected range of over 10,000 kilometers. The Indian Army is charting a course to induct both locally produced striker infantry combat vehicles co-developed with the United States and indigenously designed infantry combat vehicles by DRDO, that signifies a well-rounded strategy for bolstering its fleet of armored fighting vehicles. The plan involves the development and production of a limited number of 100 striker initially, with potential for further orders up to 300 units, that will be specifically designed for Indian requirements. Bengaluru-based Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace will unveil its FWD 200B today in an event, which is India's first ever indigenously developed military-grade bomber UAV. While specific details about the UAV's payload and operational range haven't been disclosed, the bomber designation suggests its potential for carrying and deploying munitions. The managing director of Bharat Forge has announced, that the company has established the capacity to produce 12 howitzers per month, with the potential to scale up to a staggering 30 howitzers per month, a move that positions them to become the world's largest artillery gun manufacturer by production capacity. Even as the company has exported the ATAGS and MUG howitzer, a crucial domestic order from the Indian Army still remains elusive. Today's top 3 comments.